Hello, my friends. I like the burden you now. With my meditation, bed in my eyes. Videos, meditation, fire, passion. Valentine. Hmm. Oh, good. I repeat, all good. Ah, this isn't really gonna work. someone you love. Call the number on the screen now. Call now. Him and Aaron Schrader love what they do. That's Tempters. <laughs> as much as they love each other. We used to call you Tempters in college. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Every day brings new challenges. If anybody can save a puppy, it's them. But they treat the largest livestock and littlest lives. We need to have a little deer miracle. By putting the heart in our land. This might not
Hello, my friends. I like bombarding you now with my meditation bed in my eyes videos. Meditation, fire, passion, flanton. Oh, good. I repeat, all good.
Hello, my friends. I like the bird in you now. With my meditation bed in my eyes. Videos, meditation, fire, passion. Flanton. Oh, good. I repeat, all good.
Hello, my friends. I like bombarding you now with my meditation bed in my eyes videos. Meditation, fire, passion, flanton. Oh, good. I repeat, all good. Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today's topic, never hide your authentic self. Why? Stand out of the crowd. Bad people will always try and use you, no matter if you tell them you are a light being or not, never hide yourself because you know bad people will use you and take advantage of your light. Things to consider. Bad people will always be around. Moths to a flame. It doesn't matter if you tell the world you are an angel or not. You will be used by people if you let them. See the red flags and block that person immediately. You hold that power, not the bad people. The world needs more people who are of the light and not afraid to tell the world they are of the light. Here I am. I am an angel. I am a light being. I am a witch. Whatever it is, the world needs more people to openly tell the world what they believe they are and to share their stories with the world. Show your light, show your advice, show your awakening stories, help raise the awareness and the vibration in others. If they have the ears to listen, do note, never force your help onto others, or you will hit a brick wall and it will be a bad thing. This topic came about because I was told to never tell people I was a light being because they would use me and I need to protect my faith. With that sentence, I was annoyed and then I began to laugh at their advice. 
here was a why. Long ago, I was used because of the light that I was posting without telling this person I was a light being, meaning it came from the post I was sharing. It made no difference if I told this person I was an angel or not. It just happened. Thinking back to this, I began to realize something. When you show your light, even when you do not tell people you are of the light, people will always try and steal your energy and use you. You hold the power to let the bad people use you or you prevent them from stealing your energy. To hide yourself from others is just plain silly. It comes natural to tell people you're a light worker when you post that stuff. Why would I never tell you I was of the light when I show it? Kind of makes no sense to hide it when you know them well, people will figure you out anyways regardless. It comes with the territory of showing spirits extension, that light worker subject. You know, meditation, how to rise your vibration, chakras, and other related topics. People will always know you're a person of light when you help others rise their vibration. I show it openly to the world because I am not afraid of being used by people or attacked by people. And then comment, what you do with my knowledge and wisdom is on you. I do not hold you responsible if you use my information for pure evil. Actually, how could you when I never sell anything on black magic anyways? Or the other thing magi do. I shall light higher wisdom, awakening stories, and other, and other things. Not so much teach me how to use other people with my mind or something. I won't hold you accountable for using my information or your own evil deeds. Why I shall light not darkness, what you do with what I shall is your own business, not mine. Knowledge is power, use it wisely. You control your own reality. Demons will try to use you if you let them. Leave the toxic people, places, and anything else that holds you back from raising your vibration. Recap The bad people will always be there, no matter if I tell them what I think I am or not. It comes with the territory of showing the post that I sell, which is to help spread the spiritual extension, raise vibration, sell them wisdom and knowledge, whatever you want to call it. People will always try to use you no matter if you tell the world you are of the light or not. Like I said before, people will always try to use other people. It is just part of life on this earth. You just have to be aware and block the bad people when you see something is not right, you hold the power to let the people use you or not or any other abuse of any kind, manipulation, verbal abuse, using you, etc. 
I was used once, and this was before I even told the world I was a light worker. They saw th the things I sold and wanted my help. Turned out they just used me for my energy. Just be aware, and bad people will always be around and ready to use you if. You tell them what you are or not. Just be aware and careful when you see the red flags. But block the person right away. I thank you for the concern you have of me when I tell the world I am of the light, or if I don't. But really, it is not necessary. Since I was used before, I started to tell the world I am a light worker, angel, or light being. As for the comment about protecting my faith, that is really not even necessary because I hold that power in my own hands, and I refuse to let anyone take that power from me. If you let someone steal your power, it means you are weak. You cannot see the bigger picture. You are not ready to accept. You hold everything in your own heart, however you want to see it. When you look back before you had your awakening, I am not trying to bash anyone here. I just call it as I, how I feel about it. I just call it as how I feel. When I look back before I had my awakening moment, what did I see? What did I do? I let others control my thoughts, emotions, everything. I let others take away my power and my light. I felt a lack of control, and now I know why. Now I am more aware. I am more in tune with myself and my soul. I am on a higher vibration. I lost faith when I gave up my control over myself. I lost my light when I became clouded and lost, which in turn made me lose even more of my faith. Are you starting to see the bigger picture here? You hold all the power in yourself. Do not give that up for anyone. Take back your power if you have given it up. Become a well of yourself. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again.